At the young age of 23 and 25, Patrick and Michael Fertitta grew up with a larger-than-life father figure. It's all I know, so it's hard for me to compare it to anything else. To me, he's just a PLC Tom Fertitta. I just see my dad. The brothers are recent college grads and quintessential millennials. You can find both posting their lives on social media. Patrick doubles as Papa Foxtrot on Instagram. For the most part, uh, my dad is really, really good in front of uh, in front of a camera and speaking, and uh, we've kind of been in the back just just watching and learning. The two tell me they're some of their billionaire dad's toughest critics. They embrace the businessman's decision to buy the Houston Rockets. I feel like I'm achieving a dream at 23 years old. Saying the Fertitas are huge fans. If we're actually going to be directly involved, I think time will tell to see what we actually feel confident in our abilities and what we can do. I think over the next few years, you are going to see a transformation happen at the Toyota Center. It's no secret the Toyota Center is 15 years old. They say stay tuned for big changes at the arena, including a dream to bring hockey to Houston. I would love to see an NHL team come to Houston. I'm a big hockey fan, so when that came up, I was very happy to give my opinions on it. But it's really going to determine if the city of Houston can support an NHL team. But you're going to see a lot more. The Suns can talk at length about protecting and growing the family business, Landry's, one of the biggest restaurant groups in the country. Truly the hardest question you, you could you Someone get in trouble for. Ask them about whether they're H-Town's most eligible bachelors. They tense up. I'll plead the fifth on that one. I'll plead the fifth. The brothers stress they're committed to Houston and hell-bent on bringing another championship team to the city they call home. At the end of the day, we know that we have to cut out our own place in this world, and we have to work hard for everything that we get. Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News.